Hi and Assalamualaikum So in this video I will teach you on how to use capacitor in Tinkercad First you need to open Tinkercad and choose circuit And then you need to click create new circuit So basically we have to do a circuit that looks like this we have capacitor, resistor, LED, switch, 9 volt battery and multimeter. So let's start to build the circuit. We have battery here so we just drag it and then we can click this button to rotate. And then we take capacitor. This is non-polarized capacitor. And we rotate it. And then we took LED and rotate it if you want. And then if you can see here, we can know the leg of the component is cathode or anode. And then terminal 1 or terminal 2 and positive and negative. So basically, you can build the circuit however you want but make sure that your connection between component is correct so next we took switch we can rotate it and then we have to connect between the component so we connect the negative terminal to the capacitor and negative terminal of the battery to the negative leg of the LED which is cathode So another thing is you can choose whatever color you like. So it is easier for you to differentiate between the positive side and the negative side of the circuit. So I choose turquoise for this example. And then we have to connect the positive side and not to terminal 2 of the switch. And terminal 1 of the capacitor to the common so I think I want to color this as green and this one also and then we connect the positive terminal of the battery to terminal 1 of the switch this one we color red because it is positive side so this circuit is complete now so let's try whether this circuit is working or not before that you have to set the value of the capacitance all you need to do is just click the capacitor and put what value that you want so let's try 100 so we try to start and then as you can see the there is nothing happened to the led all you need to do is just turn on the switch and then you will see the led is turned on before i forgot we need to use multimeter So this multimeter we have to connect with capacitor because we want to check the voltage through the capacitor. And because we are using non-polarized capacitor, uh, you can connect the multimeter to the capacitor however you want. There's no need for you to check whether it is positive leak or negative leak. But if you are using a polarized capacitor, you need to check whether the leg is positive or negative so start the simulation so if you turn on it will discharge the electricity of out of the capacitor to the led if you turn off it will charge back the capacitor so let's try with a bigger capacitance value 
and see what will happen. We start the simulation and we turn off. It will charge the energy into the capacitor and when we turn on, it will discharge the energy out of the capacitor and go to the LED. So that's why the LED is light on. If you look closely, this one with a bigger value of the capacitance discharge and charge the potential energy more slower than before. So it can be concluded that if you are using less value of capacitance, it will be much faster for the capacitor to discharge and charge the energy. And if you are using a much more large capacitance, meaning that the capacitor will take much more time to discharge and charge the energy. Maybe it will much easier for you to understand if I give you an analogy. For example, if you have a large bottle and a small bottle. So if you want to fill up the bottle with water, the large one will take much more time to fill up rather than the small one. So it's the same with capacitance. The size of the bottle is how much the value of the capacitance. The large the capacitance, the more time to discharge and charge and the less the capacitance, the less time to charge and discharge. So that's all from me. I hope this video will help you to understand the concept of capacitor much more better. And thank you for listening. Assalamualaikum.